Hello, this is Dr. Ro Wong from Electric Bicycle Masterbook. In this video, we will learn how to use the BLDC motor and controller tester. First, let's look at how to test the motor coils and all sensors. Start by identifying the connections for the motor coils and all sensor cables. This motor appears to be functioning properly. First, connect the hall sensor cables with matching colors. The black and red wires must be connected together. Be cautious, as hall sensors can sometimes be faulty. You can swap the blue and yellow-green wires if needed. All connections are made. Let's turn on the power. The lights are on. Check the positions of lights for hall sensors 1, 2, and 3. Hold the motor axle and rotate it backward. All three lights should flash. This indicates that the hall sensors are working correctly. If the hall sensors are faulty, the lights won't turn on. For geared motors, you can test the hall sensors by rotating it backward. All hall sensors are in perfect condition. Next, we will test the motor coils. Connect the motor power connector. Colors can vary, but always connect matching colors. Rotate the motor rapidly in reverse. The lights should come on, indicating the coils are functioning properly. The hall sensors and motor coil phases are all working well. You can also use it to test for cable breaks. Everything looks perfect. Now, let's begin the central drive motor coil test. Reattach the chainring for the coil test. The top motor coil light is not turning on. Even when rotating the motor, the coil phase iridisa do not light up. The tester confirms that the coils in this motor have burned out. Now, let's move on to testing the controller. This tester can also be used for controller testing. The two LED lights alternate and flash. When you connect the wires and turn on the controller power, the 5 volts light should flash. The throttle action should produce the same pattern as shown in the video. The top two LED lights are not flashing. We fixed the controller cable connections. Now, we see the correct IDD flashing pattern. Now, let's move on to the throttle test. Connect the throttle to the steer test position. Connect the separated throttle to the tester and activate it. The lathe color changes according to the throttle position. This throttle shows a normal display pattern. Throttles use analog hall sensors, so the brightness changes smoothly with the position. Using this tester, you can easily conduct electric personal mobility inspections. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate your subscriptions and likes as they greatly support our video production. Thank you for watching. I am Dr. Rode from Mobirant.